So guys, you are in Diablo 4, it's Season 1, and you want to complete your Juicy Juicy Renown. We are trying to complete all of our Renown here, but we're down to just having to complete our dungeons as well as any potential side quests to max out our Renown. So we all know that this process does take a long time, and it was really nice of Blizzard, I guess, to be able to give us the first two zones for free when we started the season. So... What we've come up with is a way to speed this process up, especially since we are going to be doing Renown each and every single season. We're only going to be getting the first two unless that is changed per the devs. So hopefully they don't nerf this strategy that I'm about to show you guys. So as you can see here that we are in Diablo 4, I am in a full party. My entire team is here. The idea of this strategy is to do dungeons only. I'm not sure that this applies to side quests because it's very tricky about accepting quests with multiple players etc but this does work for dungeons so the idea here is is that i have a teammate in that dungeon i'm in this dungeon i have a teammate in this dungeon and then my last teammate is in this dungeon so the idea here is is that we each take a dungeon it does not matter what zone you are in as i had a video like this before where you had to be in the same zone it does not matter which zone you're in all you you guys are going to do in your party is each person is going to take a dungeon and complete it if you do not have the dungeon complete, you will get credit for the dungeon no matter what. You'll get credit for the dungeon completing it. And more importantly, if you don't have it completed for your renown, you are going to get the renown points for completing that dungeon. So having a full party in doing this is the fastest way to complete this. As you guys can see, the dungeon completed Hive and I got my Codex of Swelling Curse and I'm not even in that dungeon. So then what happens is four of uh, plus 40 fractured peaks as you guys just saw on the screen So that is my teammate that just completed that dungeon there boom dark ravine is now complete So i'm getting credit for each of these dungeons as my teammates are completing them All right, this is by far the best and fastest way to complete all of your renown in diablo 4 So I highly 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 advise you guys doing this. Okay now there is a few tips that i want to give you that will help you speed this up a lot faster besides just splitting uh, one thing that i do want to mention is is that as you guys can see i'm smashing with the barbarian and having a blast but we are in world tier four now it does not matter what world tier you are in when you are doing this because it all goes to your renown so you could just be doing this in world tier one which is the weakest difficulty um, as far as the world tiers now, this isn't going to change the monster level because the monsters scale uh, In normal dungeons. However, it will make them less difficult, right? Because each world tier you go up the more difficult the monsters become So that is the best way you could just speed through it in world tier one because you got the dumbest monsters out of all the world tiers And you could just speed through it and just complete your renown super super quick All right now we're going to complete the boss and you'll see that my teammates are also going to get credit for this. Resurrected Malice. I do want to mention that while you are doing this, uh, in any world tier that you guys choose to do it in, that you need to make sure that you are playing a build where you, you are going to be able to take on these dungeons solo. You do not want to be, you know, the person that is stuck on one dungeon while your teammates are completing four dungeons to your one. So... You you don't want to you don't want to make sure that you're you're the one kind of being the the weak link in here So make sure that you are playing a build that you can complete this So we just completed forbidden city My teammates should now get full credit for that dungeon Which is awesome And then we are good to go So all we do from here guys is we just leave the dungeon and we're gonna go take another dungeon and go complete it now the ideal strategy that we're using for this is that is similar to Diablo 3 bounties. Each person is just going to take a zone. You're going to complete every dungeon in the zone that you, have, you, the player, have not completed. Okay? Once everyone has done that, then what we'll do is we'll just finish out any dungeons that anybody needs who hasn't completed them. That should take the least amount of time, but you want to go through and just do every single dungeon in the zone to complete it the fastest. And then on the very last zone in the fifth zone, whichever one you guys choose for that to be, then you will go through as a team and then just take each person will take a dungeon in that zone to finish it the quickest. 
So this is how you finish the Renown super, super fast. You'll get done and it'll be a whole lot easier with the Renown changes since they increase the amount of dungeon value from 30 to 40, which is a huge boost. Um, and then the Stronghold value, I believe, is has always been the same. Uh, and the Renown value for side quests has also been increased. When uh, In Season 0, when I did this, it took me about 12 to 15 side quests per zone to complete the last bit of Renown. Now, uh, from what it seems like, it's only like one or two to five, which is much better. Uh, and it really leaves this open for if people don't want to necessarily complete all the dungeons. You can just go through and do side quests to complete those as well. So, guys, like the video. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Go through and let me know where you're at in your uh, Renown. You can see my, my teammate already completed another dungeon, so I got to really catch up here. And, uh, yeah, guys, subscribe if you guys are new. And, as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.